you know, every time I'm in a space with my brother, I just I have to do this. You see what I did? You see what I'm saying? I cut the lights off. I put the red on. It's time for red table talk. He's old. Please, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, this is nasty. <laughs> so, Lo, uh, how, do you, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm, I'm good, dog. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, you know, we've been brothers for a long time, and we had a a pretty eventful weekend. We don't we don't have to get into all the details. Um, uh, but I want to talk about um your uncles, your mm-hmm. uncles, and and their representation as men. I had to, I had to, I had to fight your uncles. Me and your cousin's baby father had to fight your uncles. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, I wasn't there, so unfortunately, I can't comment too much on what exactly happened. But you know, from a from a real man standpoint, you know, there's probably better ways that things can be handled outside of putting your hands on another man. You know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, but I I can say that it was taken there. Like I, I some of these things needed to be done and it was years in the making do you feel it was years in the making right you would say so uh yeah it could de- it definitely could have been years in the making but i, I think that it, the reason why is because i mean there, there weren't other um men consistently there i guess that that's the reason why you know i i still feel like specifically <laughs> your your uncle so i'm gonna just call him by his name stop 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 um, your uncle Nathaniel. It didn't mm. matter. He was he was inebriated, intoxicated, incubated, uh, elaborated, illustrated. Uh, he was all those things. He had he had some beers in his system, so whatever was gonna happen was gonna happen. Um, and to do that, uh, and, and maybe occasion, and maybe and maybe fair, but I think the um, the backing on my end would have probably been a little bit more um, a little bit more supportive from from everyone. In the room, I think that's that's. that's you think you would have stopped him from? Because I, I, I'm not. No, gonna no, lie. no, no. What well, I'm saying, I think there would not have been any questions from anybody else if I was there. You know. What do you it, mean questions? It, I mean, there would not have been no no um rebuttals from anyone else. You know, if I would have stepped in, there would have been what I said to go. You know. No, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Him throwing beer on people, he would have did that anyway. And, he was, and it, he was on but it, I mean, but it would have been. It would have been a little bit more. Um, you you think you would have came in there and said silence? I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that it would have been immediately silence. But what I am saying is that there would not have been a question if how I may have handled things. It just would have went that way. It would not have been a question from anybody else. That's what I'm saying. What do you? Who was the question from? Who was, who was questioning? There wasn't you? nobody questioning you. What you? How you? De- how you delivered deliver certain things? No. I, what are you talking about? There was no. Hey, what are you doing? There wasn't none of that from another another uncle. No, no, no. Oh, and mind you, the only reason why he said that is because he wasn't in the house at all when this happened. When, when this happened, and, 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 and that's bitch ass nigga. No, 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 bitch ass name. But what, but, what, but what I'm saying is, is that if it was me, it would not have mattered if he was in the room or not. He could have been. He could have still been in Atlanta. It still would have been consistent. Consistent on what I, whatever I say. So once you, once you, because you would have, because you would have had to been walking your uncle Nate out the house. When you walked your uncle Nate out the house, you picked him up from his back. You think your other uncle would have not said, "Hey, hey, what's what's going on?" Yeah, yeah, it would have. No, no, it would have been. He already understands what's going on. (laughs) He already understands because what I say goes. Um, like stop, 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 stop. Like I like I told you this past weekend, um, one of the things that I do admire of you is how you support your mother, mm-hmm. um, and I and that was on full display this weekend. So I just want to say I greatly appreciate that. B souls, can I get a can I get a soundboard? Can I get a, a round of applause back there, producer man? Oh, I guess because he's not on screen, it can't happen. Um, yeah, I love how you support your mother. I do, to be honest with you. Mm. Thank you. Well, thank you for the acknowledgement, brother. Um, you know, I try to do everything I can, you know, in, in the time and need, you know, uh, whatever adjustments need to be made. That's those are the adjustments that I will make. Of course. <laughs> this I want to I want to and I want to take the time out to, to thank you. You know, mm. I want to I want to thank you and taking the time out of your day and making sure that you're there because an audible didn't need to be made. 
because imagine if we were not there. I agree. How I'm, in, I'm being I'm, I'm being funny, but also very truthful. No, no, no. Ima- uh, imagine if we were not there. No, if we if we weren't if we weren't there, it would have gotten out of pocket. Um, I don't think yeah. I don't think he would have put any hands on anybody because he's just he's scary. Um, no, no, no. I'm not saying, but it would have been. I think that would have been handled a completely different way. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna let you know now. Malik would have went crazy if that's what you're. If that's what you're. But even to. even if that is if that was the way that it was going to be handled, it still would have been handled a different way. And I yeah. don't think it, I don't think it would have been the best of way to handle it. Fuck that. Fuck the niggas. I'm not gonna lie. And, and listen, in all, all seriousness, and I know. But I don't. But I don't think. I think in even if it got handled, I just don't think that that should have been. However, it would have handled, regardless if it was Malik or the police or whoever. I'm just saying, whichever way it would have handled, I think that us being there would have been the best way. Let, to let me, let me, let me, let me say this. Let me That's say this. Let me say this right here and right now. And all, all jokes aside, get all that other stuff. And I know people are probably like they're being a little too vague. I, I have uh, five uncles. One of them, we're gonna take out the picture. I haven't seen him. In my whole life, I have four uncles, four yeah, more examples than on your on your uh, on my mother's side. On my mother's side, say, yeah, more I have that. four uncles on my mother's side that have been in my life um, since I was a child. Yeah, and yeah, all more than that them. as well. But okay, I see what you're saying. Oh my god, you know what? Not I mean. not through, you, not through marriage, but they don't know. So you're trying to explain something. Okay, don't not through them. marriage. It's okay. I could have left that four. It, it, it probably okay, needs right, this context. Right, right. But Jesus Christ. I have four uncles on my mother's side, not through marriage, blood relations, in order, all that X, Y, and Z that I've seen out throughout my whole life. Um, and to be quite honest with you all, I've had four piss poor examples of men. I've had examples of how to be a sorry man, how to be a deadbeat man, how to be a emotionally dista- dis, uh, distached, dis- not attached man, uh, emotionally unavailable man how to be a financially unavailable man, how to be a hindrance and a burden, and just somebody who is incompetent as a man, somebody who disrespects their parents uh, in the young life and in their later life, in their waning years, uh, people who are greedy, who are leeches. Um, and it was on full display this past weekend. And it, it not only was it uncalled for, but it was disgusting. Um, and however that situation would have been handled, I'm honestly, and, and I might, I'm going to get over this soon, but I, I honestly wish it would have escalated into more of a stomping situation. I honestly wish it would have escalated, uh, to more of a beatdown. I honestly wish it would have escalated to more violence. And I'm being so serious because for, for you to be such a sorry man that you see your daughter for the first time in X amount of years, and the first comment out of her mouth, uh, or the first comment out of your mouth is, hey, can you give your, give, give your dad some money? Not even in a question. Can you, you give your dad some money? You are a disgusting excuse for a man. Um, and I know you probably won't get that open on, on this platform here, but that's just the way I feel uh, about those sorry-ass men, especially after my father passed away and they had nothing to show they had they had not even face to show uh yeah so yeah i, I um yes yeah, it's, it's a lot of vagueness being going being going on right now but in in short um for the for the people out there um i guess the 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 reason why i i don't i don't drink is because of the examples that were set in front of me um, the reason why both of us do not drink is because of that exact reason right there. Yeah, right. and, and the, the reason why I kind of um, handle certain things, um, yes, some things in my life I handle certain ways because of the examples that were set in front of me on what not to do. I'm I'm not really somebody who is um, who has to experience things by um, by being hurt myself. Like I, if somebody else already burnt their hand on the stove, well, I don't have to put my hand on the stove to know that it's hot. I, I saw, I saw I burn your hand, and you're and you're completely. I don't have to go through that exact same pain um, to kind of understand what not to do. Um, and yeah, I think I think there there is a lot of a lot of things that that want that are wanted to be said that are needed to be said, but unfortunately, because there's so many 
because all of them all fit under the same umbrella um, more than others, but because they are, I don't think anyone feels that it is necessary or feel like they're in the right to say anything outside of um, maybe two women. And because of that, it may be a little bit harder for the, um, the things that need to be said to be said. Um, I don't know if, if violence is the answer, but again, that's why I said if I was there, I think things would have been worked out a little bit more differently because I would have said what what may have needed to be said in that moment. I I feel that's, like that's I, that's what I'm saying. I, I understand that you're that optimistic, but I don't. The way that I look at my uncles and I, I we think very similar, so I'm pretty sure you think about them this way. They're they're even beyond children. They are. Well oh no, no, no that's I, I get that. But what I'm saying is, if the if the response was how they were going to respond to it that way, then, I mean, and I don't, I don't even really, if you want to say whatever you want to say, that's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll say, it. I don't, I don't really care, but because a lot of people keep asking what's, what's going on. All I'm saying is, um, I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm just saying I would have, I would have dealt with it a little bit more differently. I mean, because in, in short, uh, or well, I don't know how much, how much do people know? Hey, or do you care? No, I don't care. Personally, I don't so care. I mean, in in short, for people out there who are watching, so we can kind of wrap up this portion of it. Um, our our grandfather passed away uh, last week. Mm -hmm. We just we came back from the we came back from the funeral. Um, he owns a house and and um, our four because Uncle Uncle Tim basically has a place to stay. So not all four, three of the four uh, uncles don't really have an actual house to. to to lay their heads down. So it was some type of feeling that um, that essentially thought that the house was going to be left to them after my grandfather passed away or that they would have some right to the house. And during the moments of us going to the funeral and dealing with our grandfather, mind you, their father um, passing away, they decided to um, take advantage in a time of, um, a time of grieving. Um, and yeah, I, I would have, I definitely would have had some choice words if I were there, um, that would have may have felt a couple of people may have felt some type of way, but I, I don't, I didn't really care either, but, um, yeah, unfortunately I was there. This is the reason why Teslas are not meant to be on uh, driving cars because I was charging my car instead of being there. So yeah, there, there's that too. The only, the only thing that I would just have to add is that I, I, I personally don't even think words um would have changed anything because they they are if you if you're bold enough to disrespect your mother uh especially when she was dying essentially not even essentially when she was dying if you're if you're bold enough to disrespect your mother i know you might feel x way they they don't give a fuck about nothing we got going on so you have to then do those steps and it takes after steps to make sure that these situations don't happen again. Uh, but it, did, it, it didn't matter what was said. And that's why after Malik, our cousin's baby's father, did what he did, there was a different reception. There was a different tone. There was a different shift after it, everything like that. Sometimes, I'm, not, I'm, I'm being serious though, for real. Sometimes you do need a little bit of violence to just let somebody know like, hey, this is not, this ain't, we, we being serious. We being serious, ain't no type of time. You can drunk scream all you want, throw beer, X, Y, and Z, um, but you can say words, and they're not gonna respond. They're not gonna respond receptively to no words. I ain't gonna lie. But mm. hey. hey, that's it. Jeez, dang. <sighs> don't want to say Yo, Dom, Domo, y'all are back. Y'all are back. Oh, we done? Okay. <laughs> that was yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Dumb. laughs> My bad. I was. I was letting them boys vent. They was getting their shit up. I was on my phone. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's hop into this Q&A. Questions got... and assholes. Hmm? Hey, yo. You, All right. Q&A stands questions for platform and safe. Okay. Q&A mm. stands for... Hey, every question is on... Is there, are there any super chats we still... Um, not right now, no. Not right okay, now. Okay, okay. We are the worst yeah, offense in football in that era ends today. Thank you. Uh, Coded I says Lowe is going to have to handle them greased up in the dark naked with nightshade goggles. Uh, Google? No goggles. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it's, a, it's, a running, it's a running joke on peer-to-peer. -peer. Mm. Yeah. 
It's mm-hmm. Alexander, but the R E is switched. I don't know why. I'm glad you spent your money to explain your name. Your name is very important. Uh, we can definitely talk about how the rock sucks. Nobody cares, bro. Send a Q and A link, please, please. <laughs> oh, we got we got people coming in. I also made a poll just to see, you know, how the chat's been. Who's funny between Low and Omar? By a landslide. GGS. Low one. Low GGS. One. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what's funny too? No, 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 no. You know what's funny too? He said he said it multiple times that I'm funnier than. You know, you know what's funny? I'm funny, nigga, not you, nigga. Let your dumb ass fuck, nigga. Why? Why? All right, me and Hoop Concessions going crazy. 